Legendary musician Randy Meisner passed away in early March of this year. He ventured into a career of solo singing and songwriter after leaving the Eagles in 1977. His life was unfortunately cut short after an apparent accident at home. His former wife, Lana, discovered him unconscious after falling down the stairs at his home. The medical report sadly indicated Randy had passed away from blunt force trauma to the chest. His sudden death left family and friends mourning the loss of such a talented singer and songwriter. Many people who had grown up being a fan of his music felt a profound sense of loss. Unfortunately Randy suffered from a range of mental health conditions in the years leading up to his death. This included his long-time battle with alcoholism and depression. Lenore and her daughter, Hannah, were the first to find Randy's lifeless body. The family released an official statement expressing tremendous sadness over Randy's death. Lenore asked for privacy so the family could grieve the sudden loss. Randy was best known for writing and co-writing many of the Eagles' most popular songs. Famous compositions of his included, Take It to the Limit, Peaceful Easy Feeling and I Can't Tell You Why. His talented bass guitar playing also provided a unique element of classic rock music to popular songs. After the Eagles disbanded in 1980, he pursued a foray into solo singing and songwriter. His music was mainly influenced by country rock, and he released several successful solo albums. However, this commercial success was eclipsed by the subsequent battle with mental health. Many in the music industry recognized his immense talent as a singer and songwriter. Randy's music career began when he joined the Denver-based The Layman back in 1965. He then became a founding member of the Eagles, one of the most successful bands of the decade. However, Randy left the Eagles due to creative differences and an apparent reluctance to tour. A successful solo career followed afterwards, in which he released several critically acclaimed albums. His successes were overshadowed by an apparent decline in mental health during the later years of his life. He battled with alcoholism and depression with varying degrees of success over the years.